Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Battlefield Narratives. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about rivalries in modern aerial warfare, Israel's F-35 Iadir vs. Russia's Su-57 Felon. These two fifth generation fighters represent the cutting edge of stealth technology, electronic warfare, and aerial dominance, yet they come from two completely different design philosophies. In this video, we'll explore how the F-35 Iadier measures up against the Su-57, from radar systems and stealth to combat performance and real-world deployment. The F-35 Iadier, which translates to Mighty One in Hebrew, is Israel's custom variant of the American F-35 Lightning Roman II. Unlike the standard F-35A, the Adir has been heavily modified by Israeli engineers to meet the specific operational needs of the Israel Defense Forces IDF. These include enhanced electronic warfare suites, unique mission computers, and the ability to integrate Israel's own weapon systems. In contrast, Russia's Su-57, developed by Sukhoi, is Moscow's ambitious attempt to challenge U.S. and NATO air superiority with an indigenous stealth platform. It combines speed, agility, and stealth in one formidable package, and serves as the centerpiece of Russia's next-generation air fleet. At the core of the Adir's design lies stealth. The aircraft's radar cross section is so low that it can often operate undetected deep inside enemy territory. Its shape, coating, and internal weapons bays reduce its radar signature to that of a small bird. This allows Israeli pilots to strike Hive, Al, you targets without being tracked or engaged by enemy air defenses. The Su-57, on the other hand, also incorporates stealth features but follows a different approach. While it uses radar, absorbent materials, and internal bays, its airframe design emphasizes aerodynamics and maneuverability more than complete radar invisibility. This gives the Su-57 an edge in dogfighting, but makes it slightly less stealthy than its western rivals. Another major difference lies in their radar and avionics systems. The F-35 Eisen Slash APG-81 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar provides unmatched situational awareness. It can detect, track, and classify multiple targets simultaneously at great distances, feeding data directly into the pilot's helmet display. This advanced system allows the Adir to see first, shoot first, and kill first. Moreover, the Adir's ability to fuse data from multiple sensors, drones, and ground units makes it not just a fighter but a flying command center. The Su-57 Zen-036 Bialka radar, while powerful, does not yet match the F-35's data fusion capabilities. However, it does feature multiple radar arrays positioned around the aircraft giving it impressive coverage and detection angles that can help counter stealth aircraft. When it comes to agility, the Su-57 is a beast. Its twin AL-41 F-1 engines, equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles, allow it to perform high, angle maneuvers and extreme aerial acrobatics that the F-35 simply cannot match. This makes the Su-57 deadly in close, ranged dogfights. However, modern air combat rarely relies on such engagements. The F-35 ICE philosophy is based on beyond, visual, range BVR warfare striking from distances where the enemy cannot even detect it. This approach gives the Adir a major advantage in real-world combat scenarios where detection and first strike are everything. The F-35 ICE electronic warfare suite is among the most advanced in the world. Israel's domestic EW system allows the aircraft to jam enemy radars, spoof missiles, and even penetrate sophisticated defense networks like Russia's S-400. These custom features are part of what makes the Adir so special compared to standard F-35s. Israel also has the capability to install its own weapon systems, such as the Python 5 and Derby missiles, giving the Adir greater flexibility in air to air and air to ground missions. Meanwhile, the Su-57 carries an array of weapons including R-77 and R-74M2 missiles, as well as the KH-59 MK-2 standoff missile. Its large internal bays 
and external hardpoints allow it to carry a heavier payload, but doing so can compromise its stealth profile. Performance-wise, the Su-57 has a clear speed advantage. It can reach speeds of Mach 2 compared to the Adir's Mach 1. 6. It also has a higher service ceiling and a greater operational range. Yet, what the F-35I lacks in raw speed, it makes up for with its network-centric warfare capabilities. The Adir is not designed to operate alone, it's built to fight as part of a digital ecosystem where drones, satellites, and other aircraft share real-time data. This synergy multiplies its effectiveness far beyond what traditional speed and maneuverability can achieve. The Su-57's greatest strength is its versatility in combat roles. It can perform air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions with equal efficiency. Russia envisions it as a multi-role aircraft capable of replacing multiple older jets in its inventory. However, production numbers remain limited due to cost and technical challenges. As of now, fewer than two dozen Su-57s are operational, whereas Israel already maintains a well-integrated fleet of F-35 is that have seen active duty in combat operations. In fact, Israel is one of the few nations that has confirmed combat use of its fifth generation fighters. Reports suggest that the F-35 Iadir has conducted precision strikes in Syria, targeting Iranian missile depots and command centers all without being detected by enemy radar. These real-world missions prove that the Adir is not just a high tech showpiece but a battle-tested asset. The Su-57, on the other hand, has had limited combat exposure, mostly in testing roles during operations in Syria and Ukraine. While Russia claims successful missions, independent verification remains scarce, and the aircraft's operational reliability is still under question. Maintenance and logistics are another critical factor. The F-35I benefits from a global maintenance network and decades of experience from Lockheed Martin and its allies. Israeli technicians have adapted the system to be more autonomous, ensuring that the aircraft can be maintained and upgraded locally. The Su-57, meanwhile, faces challenges with parts supply and production consistency. Russia's defense industry has struggled to meet full, gale production demands, particularly under international sanctions that restrict access to advanced materials and components. Cost also plays a major role in this comparison. The F-35I is expensive, with a price tag exceeding $85 million per jet, but it offers long, term value through interoperability, upgrade potential, and proven combat capability. The Su-57 is slightly cheaper on paper, estimated at around $1.50 million per unit, but due to limited production and unproven systems, its true operational cost is higher than it appears. Moreover, export prospects for the Su-57 remain uncertain, as potential buyers prefer the reliability and support infrastructure offered by the F-35 program. One of the defining features of the F-35 I is its ability to integrate with Israel's advanced command and control network. It can communicate seamlessly with ground-based systems, other aircraft, and even missile defense platforms like the Iron Dome and David Sling. This integration creates a unified battlefield picture that allows the Israeli Air Force to coordinate attacks, defenses, and intelligence in real time. The Su-57, while designed to link with Russia's own network systems, lacks the same global interoperability and faces integration challenges with older Russian platforms. From a doctrinal standpoint, Israel's approach to air warfare is precision-oriented. The Adir embodies this philosophy by focusing on stealth, information dominance, and surgical strike capability. Russia's doctrine, on the other hand, emphasizes strength in numbers, versatility, and air superiority through speed and firepower. Both doctrines have merit, but in modern warfare, where information and stealth often outweigh brute force, the F-35I strategy aligns better with future conflict scenarios. It's also worth noting that the F-35I is part of a larger ecosystem of Western technology. 
Its connection to NATO standards and the broader intelligent sharing framework means that it benefits from collective advancements in AI, cybersecurity, and radar evasion. The Su-57, developed largely in isolation, struggles to keep pace with this level of technological collaboration. While Russia continues to upgrade its fighter with new avionics and engines, the gap between its current state and the F-35's operational maturity remains significant. Looking toward the future, both aircraft represent two sides of a strategic divide. The F-35I symbolizes precision, stealth, and connectivity, the hallmarks of Western military thinking. The Su-57 symbolizes resilience, speed, and adaptability, key elements of Russian air power tradition. Yet, in an actual encounter, the outcome would likely depend on who sees and strikes first, Given its superior stealth, sensor fusion, and network capabilities, the F-35 I Adir holds a decisive edge in most modern air combat scenarios. Israel's mastery of integrating foreign technology with indigenous innovation has transformed the F-35 into something unique. The Adir is not just an aircraft, it's an extension of Israel's defense doctrine, intelligence systems, and technological independence. Meanwhile, Russia's Su-57 continues to evolve, but until it proves itself in sustained combat and mass production, it remains an ambitious project rather than a fully realized game, Changer. In the end, the competition between the F-35I Adir and the Su-57 is more than a contest of machines. It's a reflection of two very different visions for the future of aerial warfare, one built on stealth and information superiority, and the other on agility and raw power. As both nations continue to refine their fifth-generation fighters, the skies of the future will be shaped by the philosophies that drive these remarkable aircraft. Thanks for watching Battlefield Narratives. If you enjoyed this deep breakdown of the F-35 I Adir vs. the Su-57, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic analyzes of modern warfare and defense technology. Until next time, stay sharp and stay informed because the next battle for air dominance has already begun.